there people of the world and welcome to today's episode of Coffee Chats with Jax. Today I want to talk to you guys about something that I was reminded about when I went to the Unashamed tour for Carrie Job and Christine Kane. Something that they mentioned during the show that really stuck out to me was being involved in unhealthy relationships like when you're with a guy or with a girl or even like a friendship or something that you just you can't seem to get out of like it doesn't feel right but you go with it anyway because there's maybe there's like a fear of change or a fear of being alone or something and I want to use this video to tell you that it is gonna be okay on the other end I was involved in something like that I felt so guilty because I knew that I wasn't supposed to pee with this person but I stayed in this unhealthy dynamic anyway because I was scared that if I got out of it, no one else would want me, no one else would love me. I was scared that this, this is it for me, like, I didn't know what I was gonna do without this person. All my eggs were in this basket and it was scary and I think the reason then that happened was because I got my security, I got my identity, I got everything that I wasn't supposed to be getting from another person from this person and it all started because I was in a really really insecure vulnerable spot and this person kind of like filled me up in that way made me feel secure in myself made me feel like I had worth like I had a place and I fit and it felt good and so I stayed with this person no matter how unhealthy this was no matter how bad this was for my heart and for my spirit I stayed in this situation my self-worth for myself was a roller coaster and you know why is because it was all based on whatever this person was feeling about me and that's not good honestly whether or not it's the person you're supposed to be with if how you're feeling about yourself is based off of how that person feels about you that's unhealthy because I was so insecure because I didn't really know who I was I stayed with this person so that they could fill me up in a sense give me that security and that confidence that I thought I needed but every day I woke up and I would think to myself, and I almost would avoid the question on should I actually be with this person? Because it's like I kind of knew the answer to it. Like I feel like like Jesus had confirmed multiple times, hey, this is not who you're meant to be with. There were plenty of reasons, but this is where my self-worth came from. This is where my identity was. And I thought if I got out of this, then I would have nothing. I thought I, I wouldn't I wouldn't have anything that made me me. I stayed in it because I was scared of being rejected from other people. I was scared that other people wouldn't love me. I was scared that I just wouldn't find another place, that that was it, so I stayed. No matter how many times God would like confirm to me that this isn't the right thing, it's almost like I would avoid it and I would try and focus on something else. Like, okay, so this unhealthy thing over here, God's clearly telling me that it's wrong, but I don't want it to be wrong. I don't want to listen. So instead of paying attention to that. I'm just going to fix all these things over here. I'm going to get really smart in this, or I'm going to do really good in this, or I avoided it because I didn't want to fix it. And instead, I went and fixed all these other things about my life. So on the outside, it looked like I was okay. I thought I was doing good. But really, I was avoiding the root of all my problems. You guys, it was scary and it was hard and I thought I was stuck. Like I thought, this is, this is it for me. And it's like, I had so much shame in my heart from staying involved with this person. I had so much shame from it and I was scared and I knew and I was ignoring God and I didn't think that it was, it could get better than that. I was scared. I was so co-dependent on this. So I'd work and work and work hard to make this person like me, to make this person think I was awesome. Because if this person thought I was awesome, then I would think I was awesome. And so basically I worked from affirmations from this person. But you guys, the cool thing is, the more secure I got in myself, the more confident I became, and the more like just aware of my actual identity and who I am, the less I needed this person. And let me tell you, that was the most freeing thing in the world to be able to wake up and not just need the person's like affirmation to have a good day. I needed to make a decision. I couldn't keep avoiding this situation anymore like I needed I needed to do something about it like I needed to listen to God and stop ignoring him you guys there's so many times we stay involved with people or with ways of life or with really anything because it offers you comfort it offers you familiarity and let me tell you moving to a new city I get that you want comfort I get that you want familiar like it's helpful and it's great but you guys it's not always what's best comfort and familiarity is good sometimes but not all the time 
we can't chase after that because a lot of the time we're going to be called to do things that take us out of our comfort zone like crazy. We're going to be called to go places that we're not familiar with and if we rely on familiarity and comfort, whether that's in people or places, we're going to miss out on so much and we're going to be so stuck in the things that God has for our life, we might not even get to see it because we were so determined to hold on to what we already knew, what's already comfortable. And so guys, that's why I was scared of getting out of this relationship or whatever this was, this codependent mess that I was in. But finally I was like, okay, I just need to let it go because I need to walk in freedom here. I cut it off, you guys, and it was hard and it sucked, but you guys, I did it. I did it, and guess what? The other side of it, it was still good. Like, I survived, I was fine. All those thoughts that I used to think in my head about I can't lose this person because then how do I identify myself? What am I worth? Like, I won't know. All those thoughts, they were lies. They all came from the enemy below telling me that I needed this thing to be okay. But after I cut it off and I let it go, oh my gosh, my whole life changed. That's when I started to see my actual purposes, my actual identity. I was walking in freedom and it was amazing. I want you to know that if you're stuck in a relationship like that, maybe it's even a friendship, a job, anything that you know is not for you but you're staying in it because you're scared, I get it. Okay, I was there. I was scared. I was scared of so much, whether it's scared of being alone, scared of being rejected, scared of not being loved anymore. Like, it's all a lie. So if I can suggest anything, it's talk about this with someone that you trust. Anyone that you trust to take care of your heart in this because it's a delicate thing. It's delicate and it takes a lot of patience. For those of you who may be struggling with something like this, I want you to know that I promise you it's gonna be okay on the other side. If God's telling you to get out of it, it has a reason. There's such a purpose behind it and we can't see it now. Getting out of that thing, that whatever it was, was one of the best things I could have ever done. So you guys, trust me. And if you wanna talk about it with me, send me an email because I'd love to hear your story and I'd love to give you some encouragement and let you know that, hey, it's gonna be okay. And that person doesn't define you, that job doesn't define you. You're so loved, and that does nothing to do with that person or that job or that thing or whatever it is. So that's my story about it. Um, I haven't shared that on the internet in a while, but you guys, if you want to continue talking about this specific conversation or any of the conversations that we've had in the past, I have this awesome family of people over on my Patreon page. Maybe you've heard me talk about it before, maybe you haven't, but if you want to support me, if you want to get behind what I'm doing, if you want to be involved in any way whatsoever, just be a part of my family, then go click on my Patreon page. The link is in the description box below. Click that box on the side of the screen or just go to patreon.com slash JackieGTV. That's where you can read about what it is that I am making these videos for, what it is that I care about, my mission statement is, and that's where you can just get involved and support me. I would love it and appreciate it so much if you went and checked that out. That's where we are raising money to help rescue kids from poverty, to adopt a dolphin even, and just, yeah. So I love you guys and I will talk to you next time. Okay.